So you just need to drop down a bit. Not a problem. Under the input options, there are two types of drop down menus. One for widgets and one for text. They function almost exactly the same. So in this demonstration, I will just show you the basics with the text version. You can decide how many options you want in your drop down right here. If you want five options, click the plus five times. Then just type in what you want each of those options to be named. Menu border is the padding space for the text option in the drop down area here. Under font, you can change the size, spacing, and main color right here. As usual, you can change the image for the button, the arrow, and the options with the usual methods like so. And up here under item style, if we set active hovered brush to pink and active brush to yellow, you will see that when we click the object, it will be pink and whatever the selected option is, will be yellow. Text color is just the color the options in the drop down menu are. Row background color controls determine the color when you are highlighting items. For example, if we set the even to red and the odd to green, you will see exactly those colors while you're hovering over each of them. Foreground color is the color that the main text will be after you have selected your option. And of course, the whole thing can be disabled, and all of your blueprint events can be added to the bottom right here. You're done. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.